everyone. In this construction video, we're gonna learn how to copy a triangle using the angle side angle congruence theorem. So this is our setup. We're gonna start with triangle ABC and we have a line segment or a line over here on the right with point D. Um, and so point D is going to act as the congruent vertice of point A. So in order for us to do angle side angle, we are going to copy angle A, we're gonna copy angle B and we're gonna copy side AB. So let's start with copying side AB. So let's put our needle on A and let's open the pencil edge of the compass to vertice B and just draw an arc. And then we can transfer that over and put the needle on B, or excuse me, on D. And we make our arc down here on our line. So now we have copied this segment. Okay, so now we can label this over here E. We'll put a point there. So now we have the congruent side. Okay, so now let's start off by copying angle A. So this is kind of a two-step process. So the first thing we wanna do is put our needle on A, and we wanna open our compass just enough to make an arc that intersects both sides of my triangle, okay? So I'm gonna put the needle on A, and I'm gonna draw my arc that intersects both sides of the triangle. Okay, now I'm gonna keep my compass open the same amount, and I'm gonna go over here and put the needle on D, and we're gonna make that same arc going both sides, right? So we wanna cross over side, side DE and make our arc big enough to where it would cross this part of our triangle, okay? So that's the first part. And so now we're gonna take our needle and put it at the intersection of this arc at the bottom of our triangle and we're gonna open the pencil to the length of the arc. And we're gonna make an, another little arc right there at the intersection, okay? So just like that, copy that over here put the needle where the arc intersected side DE, and we're gonna make our arc up here, okay? All right, so that'll give us our intersection point to be able to draw our side, okay? So now we take our straight edge, and we line up our straight edge with point D, and the intersection of those two arcs that we just created. And so now we can draw the next side of our triangle. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw it fairly large just to give us enough room to work with. And we'll put an arrow at the end for right now, okay? So, so far we've copied a side and we've copied an angle. Now we just need to copy angle B and we're gonna do that same process. So let's put the needle on B and open the compass just so that it is wide enough to, when you make your arc, that it will cross both sides of the triangle, okay? Keep the compass open the same amount, put the needle of the compass on E, and draw that same arc on the other side. Okay, so now we have our arc there. And now we're gonna take our needle and we're gonna put the needle at the intersection of the arc we just drew on triangle ABC and side AB. So we put the needle on the intersection, make sure the compass is open to where the pencil touches the other part of the intersection. So we're gonna open this one a little bit wider and make sure we've got it steady. And now we're gonna make an arc, okay? Now transfer that over here, put the needle at the intersection of the arc and side DE. And we're gonna draw our arc going up this way. All right, so now we have given ourselves a couple intersections there to draw our last side. So now we put our straight edge on point E and on the intersection of the two arcs that we just created. And now we can draw our final side. All right, so now wherever our two lines just intersected, that will be our final vertice of the triangle. So we can put our point there and we'll label that point F, okay? And so we have just constructed two triangles or we've constructed a triangle that is congruent to an existing triangle by using the angle side angle congruence theorem.